Best of three now between Clown5 and Team True Gravity. Left side, we have Lapras, Slowbro, Venusaur, Blissey, and Glaceon. Right side, Umbreon with a Clefable, Blastoise, and Talion, and a Decidueye. Sniping, sniping on all sides. We have a Sham on the Decidueye. We have one Resident Guard on the right side and no Resident Guard. Actually, on the left side, going for the anti-healing items instead for Clown 5. Compared to the last series we saw, we now have two attack on both sides and no Speedster. So no Zorak, no Leafeon. Um, I mean, no Dodrio, I guess, either. Which uh, currently doesn't see play. It's still a very strong OP Pokemon, I would say. Like, Dodrio is such a pain to deal with. But it takes a lot of effort, a lot of work to do. Um, that other Pokemon can also do a bit easier. But yeah, we have the double sniping on the right side. Snipe shot. And also the Spirit Checker. I would assume so. Uh, I mean, it could maybe be a race elite, but I doubt it. As you're working, going for two points, but he's looking for the last hit. But gets the knight as Lapras is going to secure their left side in Bunny. And also this one as well. Blastoise or Squirt, it doesn't quite get it. The water gone, set it to 1 HP. They're going to try to go for the next last hit right now. If Lapras gets this one as well, it's going to be a disaster. And Chansey's going to secure it as well. So Clown 5 already getting pretty far ahead on top path by winning most last hits. As we have both junglers also joining in on this top path for that first Itaria spawn. Bot is looking quite even, I guess. No, Eternal is level 5. It's not even. Not even close. Eternal level 5. Umbreon on level 4. Water gun is still so much damage. Too so difficult to deal with. Top not doesn't look like anything will be happening. I mean, these are very passive lanes. Glaceon on level 5 is not strong. The Sidra on level 5 is not strong. And then we have two defender and two support. So there's not a lot of action that can happen right here. As they force the button though off Clefable. Had to get away from this rip buff of Glaceon. So yeah, very uh, passive top path right here. Again, Lapras against Blastoise. It has changed from damage dealers to just straight up tanks. That are damage dealers. As Blastoise Lapras do love damage as well. But just being more tankier than around us that are currently struggling a tiny bit. I mean, Zashian is banned from this tournament. Otherwise, we would see a lot of top, la top lane Zashian. That is for sure. But uh, with it being banned from this tournament, people just opt into these tanks on top. As again, around us, except for Buzzwall, are kind of weak right now when it comes to top laning. I um, mean, especially if you pick an all rounder, you're just going to lose to Buzzwall if the enemies pick it up as well. So, quite, quite difficult to be a top path player right now. And yeah, Blastoise Laplace, even if they fall behind a bit, they always have game changing Unite moves, right? So, six points good for Clefable. I'm going to try out really hard, but now stuck to red buff. And Melon just going a bit too aggressive right here. It's going to get taken down on Clone 5. Picks up a KO on a bot path already. Next, we have the Ataria spawn again. Four against three. We have the Spirit Check here. We have Snipe Shot. So much poke now on the side. Oh my, they double hit Glaceon. It almost goes down. Gets hit by Shaki. Gets hit by a Snipe Shot. And Glaceon almost taken down. This she was at 1 HP. That's going to be very annoying to deal with, for sure. But... Clown 5 has a lot of heart engaged. They have Slowbury Knight with the Jack button. They have Lapras Express. So, they have engaged. That's exactly what you need against this double poking. Beam is trying to also poke, of course, as well. As we have just Snipe Shot flying out after Snipe Shot. Until they're getting hit by Beam as well. The Regi is out very far now. It's going to reset. We have Glaceon and the Citra Unite. Another Spirit Check and Snipe Shot landing down to the back line. It's just raining down. It's so annoying. One solar beam. He has to eject button away actually because he was scared of dying. Yes, we have another spirit checker landing. Now going to the knock knock. Looking for Glaceon who's going to drop very low in HP. We need to start trying with that solar beam. But Blissey already falling to the knock knock. As we have Fresh Ice dropping to, down to half HP. Can Venus also secure it somehow? Beam is going to come through and the beam is going to get it. Huge trim by Clown 5 still. Can Gravity get at least some KOs more in? Slowbro is just being so tanky right now. Goes in with the Surf aggressively forward as the beam is also going to connect. And they're going to pick up one more KO as well. Vino winning the sniping duel against two sniper right now. But I feel like Intellion should out secure it. Yes, he does a bit more damage and not so much faster. Uh, but yeah. Clown 5 picks up the first objective. They haven't scored a single point yet though, but also Gravity with 12 only, so... Not too many points on either side yet. They're a pretty calm game. 
I mean, it's just going to be about sniping and uh, Clown 5 need their Unite moves again to really have that engage. As Gravity's not going to try to pick up the Switch Aleki. Venus starts around again. Venus at this time outside. He's going to for Unite move into the beam. And Lapras is going to secure it with that Ice Beam. As Blaster just has to move to live. It's at 1 HP right now. Gets a massive shield. Waddles away on 1 HP. But Clown 5 again. Winning fight. Getting the objective. Getting a KO. As I try to push out the Switch Aleki. And now another beam is going to land. Spirit Jackets are flying. There's so much poke on both sides. It's here. It has to check button. Blaster is so low on HP. But the Switch Aleki walks in. And that's a lot of points going for Cloud5 now. 96 in total. As they are going to increase the lead now. Nicely done by them. The Venus are currently being a bit of a game. Deciding Pokemon right here. But he has to be careful. If he gets hit by two snipes in late game, um, he's pretty much instantly gone. So, and uh, Beam has to stand still, right? To cast Beam, you have to stand still. As they're going to actually look for a push, what is Clown 5 doing? They're going so aggressively onto the second goal, but they get Blastoise actually somehow. Knock Knock comes out, Venus reject buttoning onto the goal! Is that the... what? Clown 5? I mean, uh, you know, they're safe aware. They know they're clowns. But what was that? Push? There's 40 points going for slow, bro. I guess they're sticking too true to their name. That was a... I don't know what that push was. And Venus will eject buttoning a switch, trying to get behind one of his allies to start scoring. Um, but his allies were just dying to the Sigil Unite move damage. As Gravity's are looking for this push onto the goal as well. Follow me comes in. They're gonna try to go for Lapras. They have enough damage. Lapras finally taking no, but Venus has a nice unite move. He's gonna return it now. Three instant KOs for the Venusaur as Gravity overextends as well for them their side now. Wonderfully punished by the Venusaur. He hits a massive unite, picks himself up a triple. Looking for the 4 KO. And Umbreon should be falling as well. There we go. Alright. It was all part of the plan to make Gravity push and then counter KO them. It's fine. We have a Regis on bot path. Clown 5 is now looking for the flank. But they're missing Venus or Unite move now. But still 2 for 2. In Unite moves currently. As Lapras has picked up Unite move as well again. Can look for the Express one more time right now. I want to see Lapras flying in right now. Lapras, go. He's not going to fight? Yo, Lapras, go. You have Express. Do it. I think it's doing it now. It's speeding up on the main map. It's going to look for the flank right here. And Venusaur, I mean, the Sidra in terrible position with the Teleon. They both get bumped on by the wave. And the Sidra goes down already. Looking for Teleon maybe next, but he's at least going to get out for now. As they pick up two quick KOs now. Isaac is beyond to blast this as well. It's going to take so much damage. But he barely makes it away in 1 HP. Again. As you have Clone 5. Losing the Reggie though. But they still are at least getting two KOs. I was expecting Lapras to be a bit faster on the Unite move. He waited a bit too long. And now he, he's kind of struggling to maybe farm it back up in time. He was just waiting way too long to just go for the flank. So Gravity was already able to pick up the Reggie before Lapras even made it. You know, those decisions have to be a bit faster. You have to make those decisions much, much faster. The moment Lapras gets to Unite move there, it has to run towards bottom, be faster than a Blastoise. And, uh, you know, make something happen. So it's still farming up the Yapuf right now. Glacion as well. This game is super, super close. Only 50 point lead for Clown 5. Um, was that. Was that a misclick? Oh boy, Venusaur throwing the Unite move on the ground in front of himself. Ay ay ay. As Gravity's not gonna start up this Rayquaza, knowing that Venusaur Unite is on cooldown. Gonna try to force them in. And Rayquaza don't have HP already, it's gonna be a flip. Blaster is trying to zone them away, and they're gonna perfectly combine their snipes. They wanna wonderfully secured by Gravity right here, and Clown 5. I don't know what that was. The Blaster is with a wonderful Unite move, making sure that they can't snipe it away. And then Spirit Check is Snipeshot hitting at the same time onto Rayquaza. As we have Gravitino scoring 300 points in total with 50 seconds left. I mean, it could still be a change for Clown 5. They're 50 seconds. They can still look for a push. But uh, their support is about to fall as well. And I think with that, it's going to be quite, quite difficult. Actually, still alive right now. They have one more chance. 
इसकी वजह से डिफेंस कर पाना थोड़ा सा आसान जरूर होगा लेकिन इट्स ओनली 130 पॉइंट्स सो डबल कैप कैन वर्क इफ वीनोस स्कोर्स एंड लेपरस स्कोर्स दे कैन एक्चुअली स्टिल विन बट क्लिफ हेबर रन टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट साइड इट्स गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द लीड टाइनी बिट मोर as we know the probably three happening but our oh, decision in a great position as well from very far away is going to buy a lot of time with that knock knock as well venus over three up now is going to whiff it as well but hey yes, there's no chance right 15 seconds are left they're going to drop like flies any moment now as intelino is back as well that all taking actually glacing glacing doing a lot of damage right here we have one going down they're going to get some points in but i don't think it will be even enough not even close they get 30 points in and gravity is going to hold their goal as they take a game number 1 we have the sidjoy and they pay for chaos not many chaos in this game in total and uh, let's see how much damage he was able to do 101k on this to sidjoy second draft and i just talked about it now we have dodrio actually popping up in the second game gravity picking up a dodrio with the charging charm nine tails blast his umbreon and a clefable And on the left side for Clone Five, we have Lapras, Slowbro again with the Sidjoy now picked up for them. Evinosaur and an Edigos. Now we have two Resonant Guards on both sides. Umbreon Blast is running the Resonant Guard for Gravity and left side Edigos, and also the Slowbro. It's good to see India picking up more of these items now. As last week, they were, I think they were still not quite sure about these items. And if you head into very important tournaments, I guess you don't want to experiment too much. It's gonna you know play what you used to but now they have more time on these items you can see them already being played much more often especially the risen guard which was still lacking a bit in the last week of the asia champions league so good to see them adjusting to it and practicing with it and now realizing yeah those are very strong items we should definitely be playing them as if i'm really looking for last hit, but right now we have actually sitjoy getting free last hits and free experience and free stacks I'm quite surprised. Might even go for the bunny right here. See, Jack bunts away towards the goal. He actually gets away. He actually gets away. Umbreon is going to try to chase him down, but the Sidjoy should be able to run away. But actually, runs back to the right side. Not sure what Rowlet is doing right now, as uh, he's fighting the Umbreon evolution. What is happening? But he gets stacks for free. This is massive in this early game. But he finally gets taken down. I feel like he have just ran away to the left side, but now he gets taken, ran down by the EV in the end. I think he was trying to fight it. As he gets sent back to base and first K of the game going over to Melon. Who's going to play some foul play in this game. Not going for the uh, mean lock. Which uh, I think in this game mean lock is not too good anyways. Like who do you lock down? Slowbro? Lapras? You cannot reach Venus so you cannot reach the Sidjoy. So honestly I agree with this choice a lot. As we have now a huge evade coming in. They're going to look for the side of Slowbro. Take him down. We have a try attack. For the Dodrio, as they're gonna keep on running in now. We have an evolution going on though for the South Edigos, but still taking down Gravity being so aggressive now. I guess it's gonna be agility. They fixed the agility bug, so could be a try take agility game with that charging charm. As again, as it got fixed on the latest patch. And now the Sidra is gonna pour pressure right here, but he gets one more second at least. Try attack, boost out attack, wonderfully done by Vixion as they pick up a free KO. But again, I don't think that the Sidra is too sad about this. He got a lot of stacks already, so Spirit Shackets are going to do a lot of damage. That is for sure. And to KO anyone through Clefable, he has a lot of damage. Doji is just farming them right now. Doji also picking up the Ivysaur. It's just such a strong Pokemon. I've been saying in the last draft, right? Doji is still insanely strong. It just takes a little more time and effort to play well. As yeah, we have the agility. Again, it was bugged on the latest patch. And that has been fixed. It was building up the sprint gauge way too much, way too often and way too fast. It was pretty ridiculous. Um, he's going to go forward right here looking for Lapras. But they don't have enough damage right now. As gravity is still with a solid... But the Sidra hitting level 8 already. This is Sidra is the highest level currently in the entire game. While also having 4 or 5 attack rate stacks already. That's quite impressive. How did he get so much experience? He's level 8 and a half. But it's going to cap a few points right here. Clone 5 looking for the secure on the Regilecki. As they're going to try to take it down right here. Slap comes through. Oh, the Surfy Jack button almost sealing it away. But they're able to barely secure it. They're going to try to run on this Blastoise now. And he's going to fall for sure. No Surf up. He gets taken down. And the Regilecki will be pushed in. As they're going to get 60 points in. With that 20 of the Regilecki. 
I'm just gonna try to look for another 30 right here, but I can't quite do it. Of course, that's not like... I mean, it's perfect points, but they can't really do much about it anyway, so it's totally fine. But you see a bump of this way. Dodi's gonna go forward. It's gonna try to break the goal right here, and does so indeed. It's gonna go for the next goal as well. Putting gravity back into a point lead. As ready, is gonna be maybe secure the rest of Clone 5. Can you see the way? Can we look at the bottom team fight, please? Where? Cameraman! Venus so Unite goes in as well. They're gonna pick up one. They're gonna try to look for the second one. They're gonna get Clefable as well. It makes me so mad. Like, there is a bot fight happening over an objective, and we look at Dodu backhapping. I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. Production, wake up, please. Dodu not going between Yapu for Gravity Broke, but he's gonna try to clean up this fight as we have three KOs going down, four KOs going down. Dodu cleaning up Clone 5 right here. They get the goal though, but they lose four of their members. If now we have 40 more points going for Xesol as well. Putting Gravity into a point lead. Lapras also still scoring. This game had a lot of points already. 219, 226. Both teams able to score a crazy amount of points in these first five minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand the camera sometimes. I feel like, is it an AI? Is it someone spectating or is it some programmed AI? It just looks for something. Like, I really don't know what it is or what could be that we don't... Like, that we have such bad spectating sometimes in Unite tournaments. I don't know what it is. Umbreon gets taken down, scoring some points as well. We still have so many backcaps going on. So, it just makes no sense. They focus on every other of players, but they don't. We had a fight over an objective and they looked at Dodrio going for a backcap and a score. So, that, that can't be it, really. Like... <laughs> As Lobo is going to try to knight here onto Dodo, he's going to just use the knight move. I think that's a good idea, but Agility might be enough to get away. He's going to try to run away with those boosted auto attacks and Agility. And as Venusaur can't catch him, but he runs back into the Venusaur maybe. He gets hit by Point Puff. Oh, beam! <laughs> the eject button! He walks the completely different way. And kind of walks back into Clone 5 and gets taken down in the end. By the beam, Venusaur looking for the move. Now there's Lekki still pushing, so they're going to try to look for a push here. Onto the second goal. As Tregravity is going to respawn and try to defend this done. Nice Decidue damage also coming through right now. This is looking quite bad for Gravity, but they're able to defend the Regilecki from going in. But they can look for any KOs. They're going to only lose the Umbreon, which is totally fine. And uh, Dodri is back now. Dodri doesn't have Unite, but he has instantly one shot. He doesn't get his Unite move out. It was a bit too greedy on it. As Umbreon's going to go in now, it finds a form and Unite move as well. Blast is around. They look for a Surf Hydro Pump on the Squishy. The Squishy are stacked on top of each other as the Sudre goes down. Blast is now with Revenge as they're going to take down two KOs. Umbreon with a huge Unite, slowing them down. Keeping them locked in position. As Gravity now looking for the spot path objective as well. I still worry for the late game team fighting though. The late game team fighting is quite weird as they only have nine tails who gets outranged. Dojo late game team fights is hard to play as well. So I'm worried for Gravity's late game. As they're gonna go for this ready steal. Trill Shackle will be trapped, but Edegos! Edegos secures it for Clown 5. As Lapras Express also comes in now, they're gonna try to look for it. Surf comes out from the Blast Toys. They're trying to just run for their lives right now. As Clown 5 is on the chase. Yeah, the late game team fighting for Gravity will be super difficult. They have no late game carry. And uh, they're up against a Lapras, Slowbro, two sniping Pokemon. It's going to be super, super difficult. They can maybe just win on points, as they have a point lead right now. And of course, with a Dodri, you can look for backups quite easily. But uh, yeah, I don't know how Eldegos got this one now. Eldegos somehow able to secure it. The Homer is lucky. I think Gravity is just going to make sure that Clone 5 can't secure this one. As Ambion's going to go forward. But currently, no carries around. Dodri looking for a flank. But he has to be super careful. No, they're going to engage onto Slowbro. Do they have enough damage? That's the question. Spirit Check is coming out already. Slowbro is so tanky right now. They don't have a lot of damage. He's going to start healing up with that Amnesia. They're still going ham on it. The full play comes through. But Amrin has to be careful himself now. As he has to run away. Rekwaza up on the map. I'm not going to lie. It's looking bad for Gravity. I don't know what they can do in this fight now anymore. But Clown 5 always stacked. Blasted with a huge flank, maybe. Oh, but they're gonna spot him out. He's gonna get stuck with the surf. He's gonna maybe look for Unite move, but Edigos might be caught. Edigos is caught! Umbreon jumping up, but Edigos has to move up, and now we have to try diving in, but he's instantly slow re Unite moved. And yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. This is so difficult for gravity. And 90 is just outranged at this point. 
Like, you can't walk up as Nine Tails against Venus. So, he's only Jackpot and forward is he's hated. Clown 5 just walks up. And they lose their decision right Edigos instantly. Well, I guess you can eject button. Oh my god, I just said Nine Tails cannot range reach them and they walk too close. Edigos eject buttons forwards. I mean, Nine Tails eject buttons forwards. And gets themselves a triple KO. I know they're gonna go for this Rayquaza. To grab it here on his way to a 2 0 right here and a Slowbro can seal it away. Minapu comes out from Dodrio. They're gonna try to look for the last hit. Can Slowbro somehow seal away? The surf comes through and he gets it. And he gets it. And he gets it. With the surf. But he can't score. It's not over yet. Gravity. They're able to defend the shield. I think it's totally fine for now still. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> oh, man. Yes, they have no shields left, right? Gravity is still fine. 40 seconds are left. Cliff Happy even looking for them right now. Slowbro has no shield. Does the Sidre have a shield? Is the question right now. No, the Sidre is going to recall as well. Gravity is winning. No, Edigos has a shield. Edigos has 88 points. And Clown 5 now in a 40 point lead. Oh my god, there's no way. And with this, Clown 5 may be taking the second game. They were not able to find out Edigos and the shield. As we have 91k damage on 9 tails, but that was just not enough. Draft number three now for Gravity. We have three evolutions, Umbreon, Leafy, and Glaceon. We have seen this so often lately with a Blissey and a Mew. Quite squishy, actually. Two attacker, one speedster. Right side, we have now Buzzwoy being played with Clefable, Lapras, a Chandelure, and a Venusaur. Let's see. Gravity looks very squishy. Um, but they have uh, Eevees. So, uh, you know. I wonder if Shandu's going to go for Overheat or for the Over Ash uh, Flamethrower bit. I see some jungle sharing, of course, happening right here. Leafy and taking over the Xatu to get to level 4 as fast as possible. As we have then Glacium picking up the last fight Pokemon there for level 4. Whip comes out and actually gets the first last hit here for the side of the uh, Bulbasaur. I see done as Lapras going to try to secure yet another last hit as well. Can you get this one? Yes, Mew is able to secure the one away. As Lapras just has to score two points right here. Of course, Lapras should have no chance in last hitting against Mew unless Mew wastes the Electro Ball. Lapras going to try to go for this last hit now. Can he secure it? Maybe no. He has to back off. Just taking too much damage from this Mew. As you have many looking for level 4. He does get level 4. Gets the Umbreon Evolution quite, quite early on. Power play or me look this game. It's going to see what it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be another foul play game, which I support. I think it's also still an absolutely amazing ability. Um, it's just that mean look. It's just dumb. Straight up. Mean look is just dumb. All right, Legion now on top. Let's see Flamethrower or Overheat. It's going to be the Overheat bit. Doing some damage here onto this Glaceon. Overheat Pointer Geist is also quite good right now. I think Imprison is just bad. I mean, Imprison is not necessarily bad, but Pointer Geist is very strong after the buffs. It's good for Overheat and good for Flamethrower. Let's see if he goes for the Pointer Geist or for the Imprison. Yes, me already got a lot of experience in. 11 points going for the Bulbasaur. This is enough for level 5. It's not enough for level 5. As I think he knows he's going to fall right here. I think he was just trying to get to level 5. He needs a barrier away, but Electro Boy is going to get a KO for Gravity right now. Glacier on level 6. Ice Shard picked up. Very important for Ice Shard. This build is actually super weak. As we head into the mid Altaria fight. Not a lot of people around yet. Bus for level 5. Solar Blade is going to miss just barely. The full play push. Gets him out of range of the Solar Blade. As a mid Atari, just go over to Gravity for free. Clown 5 is not able to contest it. And so far, this bus will not getting all too much done. After Leafy just gets level 4 so fast from jungle clearing or jungle sharing, it's difficult for Buzzword to do anything about the Solar Blade. And yeah. So I'm going to keep on seeing Leafy on being played. And uh, it's the first buzzword today, actually, only. Which is a bit of a surprise. Let's see. Potter guys are in prison. It's going to be the prison. I'm not a big fan of this bit, honestly, anymore. Overheat in prison. It's, I feel like it has too much downtime, you know? As uh, Obit is getting shot down by the Icicle Spear, taken down. We're going to try to go for Shinlu next, who's zoned out. And that's 60 points going in. Oh, gravity, another 8. Another nine. Are they going to break the score? They're going to break the goal and go for the Rigilecki, right? Yes. Okay, totally fine. Breaking the goal, getting the objective. As Clown 5 is going to probably pick up a free 
Regi is though. Mew, can we be steal it away? Is Gravity still gonna run bot lane? Here's the question. Regi is now dropping low on HP. And the Sodium comes out, and Mew's gonna steal it away. No, <laughs> what a disaster for Clone 5. As he picks it up, 1 against 4. Now they lost both objectives, and now Leafy is here as well. He's gonna pick up a KO with that Unite move. And this is terrible news for Clone 5. Both objectives gone, top goal gone, lots of experience, KOs also on the side of gravity. Oh boy. They're dropping very far behind now. And the Vegileki still goes in as well. The Vegileki still walks in. That's another 55 points for gravity. Again, gravity is one of the favorites to win this entire India thing, as they also won the India Open, so it's something you expect from this team. I think it's spear goes down as well. 157 to 24 points now. And Melange is so aggressive on the Abrion. Snarl is gonna buy so much time. Snarl is still a very, very strong ability. And that's why we see it over Wish. Much more. Wish is also not bad, but Snarl just does so many things. It slows, it gives Amrion a shield, makes it unstoppable or hindrance resistant. Stuns for a long time. Uh, reduces damage done. Like, it has so many things. It's crazy. It kind of reminds me of Sacred Sword of Zashian. It's just one ability that does like six things at the same time. And uh, it's so difficult to deal with. Also, Shield for Umbreon. There's just so many things. Literally, Sacred Sword of Zashian. Just on a defender. I'm gonna go in right here, but the Knights engage on Leafion. Leafion gets a huge Bliss assistance as they run onto the back line. So much damage coming through from Blissey and Leafion as Umbreon is able to barely lift the overheat damage here from Shenelure. Glacier is still going forward as well, looking for the Isaac Spear, but he's going to get super powered. Smackdown goes a bit too deep right here. Is he going to get taken down? Yes. Glacier overextending too much, and that's a huge loss for Gravity, as they also lose Leafeon in the end. Now Clown 5 has a chance. They're going to go in with the Lacus Express as well, looking for the side of Mew. As we have them, getting maybe taken over right here, but Umbreon is going to jump up in the air. Balan trying to be a hero, finds a form and Snarl stun as well. This Umbreon is insane. Balan is so aggressive. But no follow-up damage in the end with result in any chaos. But he's able to save his team, goes in again, another three-man style, another double foul play as well! Melon playing out of his mind right now, as he's still going to fall in the end. It's not enough though, that is so sad. He did so well on the setup. His Reggie steal gets them so low on HP. Takes on Lapras, no Blissey on the chase with those egg bombs. Clefable Moonlight will be able to heal up Venusaur enough. As Reggie C gets himself a KO onto the counter, Venusaur Finding the Soul Beam onto Blissey. And the Regis might go over to the side of Gravity now as they're gonna try to pick it up. It's gonna leech those back to half HP already. And then have a lot of damage. Lapras gonna go in with the Ice Beam. Trying to maybe steal it away. And can he get it? Ice Beam comes out. No, Mew's gonna secure it with the Electro Ball. As Clefable gets chased down. Foul play onto Lapras. He's gonna get chased down. Gravity, two more KOs, and the objective secure. Leafin also jumping very aggressively right here, but can't quite find the KO to Venusaur. As he jacked myself, Venusaur trying to look for counter KO, but the Venusaur Unite doesn't hit anything. And now he's stuck in a bad position. Is he gonna get taken down? He still makes it back to safety. They don't try so hard to defend this goal, but 40 points, finally good for Mew. And uh, Glaceon, though, might almost get taken down right here, as the goal is gonna get broken. Glaceon falls, Mew falls. This game again is all over the place, just like the last two ones. As Clone 5 now looking for a push onto this goal. And Leafeon, Bliss Assistant comes out into the Leafeon Solar Blade, but he cannot get spated by it. And the Beam gets another KO in as they get 40 and 50 points in. And now Clone 5 is back in this game in an instant. Gravity just trying a bit too hard to push the goal and get punished for it. Oh my. And now Clone 5 has a chance. They have a chance. Who's the second strongest Pokemon right now after Zashian? Uh, I don't think there's one. What's the second strongest Pokemon? I guess Mewtwo Y maybe, but like Mewtwo Y is not in tournaments. And even then, it doesn't even feel that insane either. Um, I guess Mewtwo Y still. Probably. Dragapult? Oh yeah, Dragapult. That's why we see him in all of the tournament games so far. True. Draga, look how look how much Draga puts being played. Oh wait, he's picked in, in no tournament games across every region. <laughs> oh man, Draga put is nowhere to be found in tournaments. 
So, um, I don't know if that's the strike second strongest Pokemon. Maybe Clefable. Clefable is so OP or Hooper still. I guess Hooper, maybe? Hooper, especially in tournaments, is absolutely insane. Venusaur sniping Leafeon right here. Now Clone 5 has a chance to win this game. Umbreon still finding a huge snarl again on Foreman, but there's just no follow-up. Mew, what is Mew doing? Going super deep right here, looking for the surf. Assassination onto Venusaur, but he fails. As Mew's gonna fall, and Cloud 5 might make the upset happen right here. It's the sixth seed against the first seed. This should be a clean sweep for Gravity, but it might not be Rayquaza alone HP now. Then we'll try to secure. Leafin's on his way back now. Can he save it? Beam comes through, but Cloud 5 secures the Rayquaza. This should be a walk in the park for Gravity, but it's not Clown 5. They get 100 points in. Can they score some more? Clefable running towards the top goal, waiting for Shenlu to walk up. They're gonna try to... It's a, it's a bit greedy, but Shenlu gets the 100 in. Clefable gets also 98 in. This should be a 2-0 for Gravity, but instead it's going to be a 2-1 for Clown 5 with the huge upset. Yes, we have some damage numbers right here as well, for anyone that is interested in them. But yeah, what a huge upset. Clone 5, take a 2-1.